Hello, my name is Adam Moxley White, and today I want to show you how to clean your trumpet. So um, this should this process will work for pretty much any brass instrument, but um, you'll only get to see me take apart a trumpet. So for this video, I got a a used trumpet. Somebody um, I bought this at a flea market a while ago. Um, used it in their school. Um, then they just loaned it out to a middle schooler and I have not played this yet. Um, so I am going to uh, clean it out um, so that it's really uh, clean uh, and ready to go before we um, play it at all. <laughs> uh, so, all right, it's uh, not in the, the best condition, but um, the slides do come out. So uh, start by taking the mouthpiece out. You wanna clean this out and, and we will, uh, but for now, let's just set this to the side. Um, tuning slide needs to come out, so pull gently, get that out, definitely needs some work. Set that to the side, then you can start with maybe your third valve slide here. Always press down the corresponding valve so that you don't get the popping sound. Alright, here is the second valve and the first valve. There we go. All right, so they all come out. Um, if one of your slides does not come out, uh, I do not recommend um, trying to yank it out or using any sort of tool to get it out. Um, I mean, you could lightly tap it with a, um, a very soft material, maybe uh, a rag with a some like the back of a screwdriver, not the front, but the back of it with a cloth, maybe but I would just let the professional take care of that. It's gonna still, you'll still be able to clean it out, just not quite as well. Uh, the next step is taking out the valves. So we have three, this one is missing a button, which we'll need to get a replacement eventually. And find a safe place for these. Right now, I am just putting them in um, my case, but when we get it over to the bathtub, we'll find a new spot. Now, there are bottom valve caps. Yet again, these might be stuck and they might not come off, um, but um, if only one of them doesn't come off, um, maybe try to get the other two off and then try the third one. Do not use any sort of pliers or anything. Just um, do your best with your hands. Uh, maybe get one of those grip, um, rubber grip uh, things that might help. But other than that, leave it to a professional, your local instrument repair shop, uh, music store should be able to get that in touch. So we are all taken apart. Um, before we give it a bath, uh, the things that you'll need to do this correctly, you'll need two brushes. This is a bigger brush. Um, you can get it, um, it's really good for your valve casings. And then this is a snake brush, uh, we'll untangle it later. But you'll need those, um, as well as some valve oil. I brought a couple different brands out here. Um, Hetman brand uh, is my favorite, but you can only get it online. And uh, Fast or Outcast, um, you can get it at most music stores. Uh, both are good brands. Um, also, we have a couple different types of slide grease. I really like Shilky slide grease, but you can also get something like Doc's tuning slide goop, um, all good stuff. So you'll need all of that. You can get them in different kits. You can get all of it in a kit if you don't want to buy it all separately. Um, uh, my two favorite kits are uh, the Monster uh, instrument uh, cleaning kit, which is I think about $20 for a trumpet kit on like Amazon or something like that or Yamaha makes one for about 25. Uh, you can also get that on Amazon. Um, but your music store might have a pre-prepared kit of all these things that you'll need. Uh, it might include a few more things, a couple different types of brushes, that kind of thing. But this is the, uh, the basics of what you'll need to get started. So let's move on to step number two.